guys, welcome back Frantic Flames and today I've got a new Call of Duty Advanced Warfare live commentary video for you guys today. We're going to be going on some team deathmatch on the map Retreat today and uh, I'm really excited to get into this one. Uh, a lot of you guys in the comment section are actually suggesting that I do a couple more Advanced Warfare videos now. I've been quite heavy on the Black Ops 2 side of things um, for the Black Ops 3 hype. So uh, I'm going to be jumping in to some Advanced Warfare. I haven't played this game in quite a long time. And I just wanted to test it out, see how I do. Of course, we're going to be using the ASM on speed keys. This is my favourite gun on this game. I'm going to be getting straight into it. So here we go. So I've got a couple of subjects to talk about today. And we're also going to be just talking about the um, sort of the gameplay. So I haven't actually played this game probably in over a month now. Literally, I haven't like put the disc in my Xbox um, in, in about a month. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to be. Just get molested by that uh, shotgun there right in the face. And, of course, this game, you know, we all know, it has such a weird flow to it. There we go, that's a nice little pick off there. Um, playing Team Deathmatch, of course, so uh, just a standard game mode, really. Um, what you'd expect, really. Let's have a look. Quite a few people in here, I reckon. And uh, if you may not have noticed, I've actually got an Xbox t-shirt on, guys. So, uh, of course, I play Xbox 360, and I actually, there's quite an interesting story behind me getting this um, t-shirt. So, I did actually get it for free. And you're probably wondering, oh, James, how did you get an Xbox t-shirt for free? Well, I went on a holiday with a, well, with a friend, a really good friend of mine. And, um, we were in this, uh, sort of, like, like, kids club type thing, um, where you, like, sort of go in, do some, uh, fun, like, activities, stuff like that. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, they did, like, a ping pong tournament, like a table tennis type thing. Don't know if you guys, uh, play that. Where you come from, you probably do. And, oh my god, what is going on? Where's this guy at? This is the weird thing with this game, like, you do not know where anyone is, okay, there's someone around here, and I know it, just concentrate on the game, so we'll go back to the story in a minute, guys, oh my god, my shot, it's just, come on, lad, oh god, I swear I just got a triple jump there, that was weird, thank you very much, the double jump coming in nicely played, so back to the story, yeah, so I got this t-shirt from winning a ping pong tournament, because the place that um, I actually went on to holiday was sponsored by Xbox. And I was debating whether or not I should actually wear this t-shirt for this video. Um, and so I put it on for the first time. And it was really, really comfy. So I'm, I'm just wearing it. It's really comfy. Uh, you've probably seen it in quite a few of my videos. And I don't want to, like, sort of try to promote Xbox. Because I know the PlayStation is a really good game console as well. Um, but this is the one that they had. And, you know, if I had a PlayStation 1, I'd definitely wear that as well. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, why I'm wearing it. So I'm not saying that, you know, Xbox is better than anyone. Uh, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, I just got this t-shirt. Um, oh God, this one a bit. Bloody hell. What are we actually going? I don't even know what we're going. Nine and five. Okay, that's not too bad. We need to sort of try and get in. The thing with this game is it's so hard to get good commentaries on. Uh, if you're a YouTube commentator, you'll probably understand. And that's why I've been doing a bit of Black Ops 2 recently. Because um, you can get more decent, I guess, um, gameplays. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you want to see more Black Ops 2 or more... Oh, my God. You get, sh get shot in the butt everywhere as well. If you want to see more Black Ops 2 or if you want to see more Advanced Warfare content, it's really up to you guys, to be honest. I don't mind playing either game, um, really. But I probably will do better um, just because of the matchmaking and stuff on Black Ops 2 is a bit easier. Um, but I do like the challenge of Advanced Warfare. I think that's why people still like to play it. Um, it is quite a nice challenge. And I swear my gun keeps changing colours because I do have the royalty camera on this, or I'm pretty sure I do anyway. Um, which is a bit interesting. Oh, God, hello. Um, so, the uh, DLC, well, I'm actually recording this on Tuesday, but I'm reckoning this video will probably go up on the Wednesday. Um, so, the DLC dropped live yesterday. I haven't actually bought it. I haven't bought any of the map packs for Vance Warfare, interestingly. Um, not been much hype around this DLC, the third DLC. I think the Black Ops 2, you know, it's had the reveal trailer now. Um, a lot of people are getting excited for that, so they're sort of forgetting about Advanced Warfare, but I was, I was like, really wanted to buy this map pack, but I just thought, you know, I'm going to save, I'm going to save probably until Black Ops 3 comes out. Maybe, maybe get the last map pack for this game, damn it. Just depends if I'm enjoying it, if I'm making videos on it or not. Um, because I know, like, a lot of people do upload videos of the uh, DLC map packs, but definitely for Black Ops 3, I'll be buying uh, the season pass for that and getting um, all the content out for the DLCs, all the good stuff like that for you guys uh, very early. So hopefully that's all good. Now we're, well, we're not even halfway into the game yet, almost. We're just past the halfway mark, in fact. Um, they probably want to my classes for this. I will try and show you at the end of the video, if I remember. Let's have a look around here. I completely forgot what I was going to talk about, what the other subjects I was going to talk about. Oh, we get a nice promotion there. 
as well. And you. Oh, I'll just try and get behind enemy lines. Didn't manage to win that gunfight, though. That is one of the worst spawns I have ever seen. He just spawned literally right beside me. Um, and I'm pretty sure that guy did, too. That was w one of the most <coughs> awful spawns I've ever seen. And that's a bit of a um, downside to this game as well. You know, the spawns have never really been 100% um, good uh, on all the maps. But, you know, oh well. They should probably fix this because, you know, it's Team Deathmatch. It's probably the most popular game mode on the game. So, uh, to not have good spawns for this game mode is a bit unprofessional. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. I absolutely adore this weapon, guys. This is literally, what, like, literally, probably the my favourite SMG ever on uh, Call of Duty. It's such a nice weapon. Such a good weapon. This is, uh, if I do in top SMGs, top five, if you guys watch that series, um, I'll probably include this in the top five SMGs that should be coming out later this week. Um, haven't made a video on it yet, but I probably will. Oh my goodness, how have neither of those guys died? Do not know. Uh, we're actually losing at the moment. We need to try and bring this one back. There's a guy going to push around here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yep, yeah, thought so, thought so. Uh, you can't hear, like, any footsteps in this game as well, which is a bit... Well, it's very annoying, actually. Uh, especially if you're used to hearing footsteps on other Call of Duty titles. Uh, it's really, really frustrating, actually. Extremely annoying. Oh my goodness, how? And those gunfights, you wouldn't normally lose on, um... Like other Call of Duty's, but I guess it's just weird. It's just it is quite weird this Call of Duty. Um, some people like it, some people love it, some people really don't like it. And I've oh my god, damn it! Did you see that? I don't even know what's going on there. Yeah. So uh, make sure to smash the like button, guys. We're coming to the end of the gameplay now. There we go. That's a nice pick off. Love those little pickoffs where they don't get a single shot on you and uh, you just get a clean, nice kill. A couple of guys around here don't really want to challenge them all at the same time, but it looks like I might have to. There's one. No, knew there was too many people around there to not be spotted. Sort of got to go a bit stealthy with this game mode, um, which is quite hard, actually, to be honest. Let's have a look. I know that there's a guy around here. Saw him on the, uh, on the UAV. So, uh, like, the UAV, I don't know why they had satcoms in... Um, in Call of Duty Ghost, if you guys played that game. No, almost got the knife. That's one of the good things in this game mode. Uh, almost getting the knife. And I forgot that this uh, game mode actually goes up to 100 now as a team deathmatch. Because uh, it's more fast paced in Advanced Warfare, so they have to change that. Wonder if they'll do that for Black Ops 3. Not too sure with the rule running and everything if they'll change the team deathmatch scores from 75, which is you know, the classic sort of uh, number to go to, I guess. You can't see anyone in this game. It's so frustrating sometimes. I'm pretty sure it's 100 goes up to you right now. Nice pick off there as well. Anyone else want to die? Yes, you do. Uh, I also use this uh, cloak just because I think it's a nice addition to the class. Um, are you actually being serious? My goodness, running out of ammo. All this thi although this thing has a 52 magazine, it is quite easy to run out of ammo, especially if you're going for three or four people in um, without reloading. Okay, I almost knew that he was there. I looked back and I just saw him when I looked. Unfortunate again. Let's have a look around. Well, wow, these games, like, they seem to drag on quite a lot, which I guess is quite good for commentaries, but, um, I don't know, it's just... I think it should be, uh, 90, maybe, the, uh, max score limit, not 100. I think 100's a bit too long, to be honest. Oh, we get the double kill. That guy just walked into my line of sight there. Damn, we can just get taken out again. We're going 24 for... No, we're not. We're going 35 for 23, which isn't... Oh, it's better than I thought we were going, actually. Um, didn't even realise. We haven't got any streaks apart from the UAV, I'm pretty sure, this game. Um, but the gun kills are what I'm about. The gun kills are what we're about, especially with this amazing weapon. I could hear his exo. That's one good thing um, that you don't get with other cards, as you can hear their exos make quite a lot of noise, actually. And that's probably... Oh, we lose that game. That's probably why um, they removed footsteps. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. It's been quite a long one. So make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>